<laughs> Last week I thought it was Asema, but then the Asema but triple. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. I looked up for Muzempa, you see. Bear man at the end, I ain't child. Uncircumcised penis reduces the risk of getting HIV AIDS. Hey. Meet CD, Muyedru. And then I may mean that she me down. Okay, um, I will do this for myself and all the men here. Okay, hey, go boy. <laughs> so, um, let's start off with what the factory setting is when factory the penis setting. comes. Yes, mm -hmm. I mean, here in Ghana, most of us have the circumcised penis, so okay. we don't quite see what the factory setting is, what okay. God gives us. Okay. So, if you have a little boy, mm. you see that the tip of his penis is not. It's not like you know it's normal, you know, it's, it's not smooth. It's not like a banana. It's, no, it's not. Mm. It's like something goes off and on. You okay. need to sort of pull the thing down mm. to see. Mm. That thing you pull down is known as the foreskin. Okay. Um, and that foreskin is sort of supposed to be protective. But over the years with evolution and civilization, mm. um, religion, a bit of religion, a bit yeah. of religion you realize that <laughs> we sort of have moved away from it. Mm -hmm. Now it has good sides, mm -hmm. which I'm sure Dr. Faustin will oh, talk so about. So, oh no, she'll talk about the good side. Oh, I've been coerced but, into this. <laughs> but uh, before that, I'll just explain how we even contract mm -hmm. HIV. Okay. So HIV is, um, it's a virus, mm -hmm. lives in body cells. Mm -hmm. So the virus sort of needs a body cells to thrive. Okay. So when there's a breach in skin, mm -hmm. Then you get it. Which is because we're praying as Oh, we pray um, during intercourse because mm. of the friction. No, mm. Mm. you know, during sex, the um, penis you know, and go in and out of the vagina. Now, see that the friction mm. sort of so mm. there's that little little source. Okay. Exactly. So all these are serve as a medium. Mm. So anything that gives the virus the opportunity to move from one person who is infected to another who is not in that medium would give HIV AIDS. Now, Dr. Folsom will tell us <laughs> why an uncircumcised penis <laughs> does not. Doc. All right. So since my first seminar, and I just said, so we can be like a, from, from, Come on, man. from books. You know, Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in Ghana, usually, um, we were more used to the circumcised penis. We're very religious people. Mm. So invariably, when a child, a baby boy, boy is born, he gets circumcised. It has advantages, mainly because it's easier to keep it clean. Okay. As he was describing the, the foreskin, you mm -hmm. can tell that there's going to be a bit of a gap between the foreskin mm -hmm. and the tip of the penis, okay. which you have to put in a bit more effort okay. to be able to clean mm -hmm. up and keep it more hygienic. Okay. That's what we're in chat. That is a way in chat. Exactly. Because the thing is, um, foreskin has its own function. It produces a lot of fluids, okay. which is supposed to lubricate the tip of the penis. Mm -hmm. All right. So as it's producing more of these things, when cleaning the air, it gets kind of stuck in the gutter mm -hmm. or the fold in between the tip. And I form something called smegma, mm -hmm. and that predisposes to generally unhygienic, you know, conditions. Mm -hmm. That's it. Naturally, no. Lubrication. Eh, yeah, I know. Exactly. Exactly. So the thing is, indeed, they have to put in extra effort, you know, to do to do that. Mm. And when you don't do it, you have a certain particular um organisms. In particular, for example, if your partner is uncircumcised mm -hmm. and he harbors um, infections like viruses okay. typically things like hepatitis um, human papilloma virus okay. which is notorious for causing cervical cancer mm -hmm. so it's been found out that partners of these um, uncircumcised males mm -hmm. may have a slightly increased risk of getting cervical cancer because they might harbor you know the yeah and also these chronic infections will predispose the man himself mm -hmm. to getting penile inflammation, chronic mm -hmm. inflammation, leading to some kind of cancers. Mm -hmm. So by default, I think what we do in Ghana is not bad. 
I mean, by default, we circumcise. And it's not a bad thing. <laughs> by default. But it's really a matter of preference. Mm. If you're uncircumcised mm. and you keep it nice and clean. clean. Can you say and dry? Dry. If you put in effort and you, you know, after washing down, yeah, we, like the <laughs> if you push the prepuce back and you clean it up, I think that you should be, you should be okay. Uh -huh. The future is exciting. Ready?